اتفاق در فضای پوتین افتاده ولی همین اسرار رو به شما نمیگن اما تو جهان نمیخواد بگه که موضوع کجاست یهودی ها به سه قسمت تقسیم شدن یک گروه رفتن اسرائیل یک قسمت رفتن سمت روسیه اما یک گروه دیگری در جهان از یهودی ها وجود داره که هیچ راجع بشون حرفی نیست نجادی در یهود وجود داره به نام اشک و نازی یعنی هیتلر یهودی بود از نجاد اشک و نازی بود این داستان اخشان که نو نازی نو نازی توضیح میده رب داره اوکی پس مرکل اشک و نازیه پس یک گروهی از یهودی ها وجود داره اشک و نازی که اینها یهودی هم اما با یهودی های اسرائیل که خیلیش طرف داره ما هم مشکل دارن و با یهودی هایی که وصلا به پوتین مشکل دارن Zelensky recently described Putin's denazification of Ukraine as laughable. Remember that Nazis were members of Hitler's National Socialist Party from the 1930s and 40s. And not only were there thousands of Nazis in Western Ukraine back then, it is still a big part of their national pride. Nazi war criminal Stepan Bandera is a national hero. And there are actual Nazi organizations still thriving in Ukraine, including the Azov Regiment, which is now a part of Ukraine's armed forces. The Nazification of Ukraine is well documented and easily verified with being anti-Jewish, which may have been true in 1930s Germany, but it's complicated. Many high-ranking Nazis themselves, including Adolf Hitler, were Ashkenazi Jews, who can be traced back to the notorious Khazars, who mysteriously mass converted to Judaism about 1300 years ago in the region now known as Ukraine. Uh, of the, uh, of whatever uh, forces Ukraine is using in this, this Azov uh, mm -hmm. group that's, that's popped up. You know, everybody needs to go look at who this Azov group is and what, in, what in, the, in, in the what East. Yeah. Is. Yeah. So sure. that's, I, I don't see this as, I really don't. I mean, I don't see this as Putin trying to take over Ukraine. I think he's got very limited objectives. He's going to choke off the command and control. 